Oh, hey everybody, what's up? Well, today, for your kickboxing training, we're gonna go ahead and do what we call the JKD five counts. Um, for my more senior students, though, we're gonna replace the round kick with a front kick. So, for everybody new, don't worry about it, we're just gonna go in right into the front kick. So first things first, let's talk about the front kick. So, if I'm in my fighting stance, it could be your left lead, it could be your right lead. It's gonna be your personal preference. I am, I'm okay with both. And so if I'm in my left lead, okay, I'm in my left lead, right lead for the camera. If I wanna do the front kick or the teep, I'm gonna pick my leg up and kick. And again, you can be in either lead, boom, just like so. Here, I'm gonna to try to do this without having a lot of, you know, moving around and, and throwing a lot of stuff at them. So you just wanna be able to throw that kick out there. So. We're gonna put in the JKD five counts. So I throw the kick, plant my foot in front of me, cross, hook, cross, and kick again. So front kick, cross, hook, cross, and kick. Remember, keep your elbows tight. When you throw your hook, pop it and come back. Front kick, cross, hook, cross, and kick. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a round on the punching bag and then we're gonna do a round of core exercises, okay? Uh, for the sake of time, uh, I'd like at home for you guys to do a two minute round on the bag and then a one minute round of core exercises. What I'm gonna do for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna do uh, five on the bag and 10 crunches so you guys can kind of see what I want you guys to do. So round one, fight. So I'm here, front kick, cross, hook, cross, front kick. Front kick, one, two, three, and right there. Kick, one, two, three, and there. Notice, I kick, my hook punch is too tight because of my body positioning. I am not gonna sacrifice to extend, okay? If you want, you can drop that foot in front closer so you can get the hit. But for right now, it's okay. Here, 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 and kick. So that was my fifth one. Now we're gonna jump into our, five, our crunches. So it's a standard crunch. Remember, you guys are gonna do a whole minute. I'm just gonna show the exercise. So I lay down next to the punching bag, hands are on my chest, and I want you to come up where your shoulder blades leave the ground. Look up, don't curl your head. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. That's your first round. Second round, option two. Front kick, cross, uppercut, cross, and kick. Remember, you can go kick, cross, long uppercut, cross, like, uh, like Sensei Gabriel Vargo was talking about in uh, kickboxing. And so I go here, boom, one, two, three, here. Okay, this point now, front kick, cross, long uppercut, cross, front kick. Front kick, cross, long uppercut, cross, kick. Third one, kick, kick, and kick. One more time, kick cross, uppercut, cross, and kick. So that's your second combination. Again, give me a two minute round of that. And for your exercise now, it's gonna be our leg lifts or you can do flutter kicks. So again, here I am and I go up and I go down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, or flutter kicks. One, two, three. I count every fourth one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And again, for you guys at home, remember you're gonna be doing it for a minute, so the numbers aren't as important as it is time. You can keep track of the, time, the numbers, so you can see your progress though. Maybe you're only able to get like 
20 crunches in a minute when you first start working out. And then over time, you're like, hey, I got to 27, I got to 35, I got 40, I got 50. And you can kind of keep track of yourself that way. Option three, kick, cross, body hook, cross, kick, kick, cross, body hook, cross, kick. All right, round three, front kick, cross, body hook, cross, kick, front kick, cross, body hook, cross, kick. Here, here I drop low, throw the punch, come back up, and I go, boom. Here, 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 and one more. Here, 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 and bam. All right, now Russian twists. Don't forget, two minutes on the bag. Now Russian twists. So you're here like this. Remember, depending on your skill level, you can have your heels on the ground. You're trying to touch the ground with the opposite hand, not that's not the goal. I'll turn the camera. The goal isn't, okay, it's the twist, hence the name Russian twist. Now, depending on your, your core skill level or if you have back pain, you can have both feet on the ground and you're working at level one. Level two is you put one foot on top of the other. Level three, you keep your feet up in the air. Level four, you switch. Okay, so that's your goal for one minute Russian twist. I'll do uh, 10 of them, like I said, to show off. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Notice I count every second one. I don't count every single one. Your, third, your fourth option, kick, overhand, shovel hook, overhand, kick. Remember when you overhand, it's not this. You pop that elbow up and you fire that punch downward. So kick, overhand, shovel hook, overhand, kick. Moving on to the fourth round. We kick, haymaker, shovel hook, haymaker, kick. Front kick, haymaker, shovel hook, haymaker, kick. If you happen to have a punching bag like this, don't whiff it with your knuckles. You will burn all the skin off your hand in a heartbeat. Also, I would recommend wearing some kind of gloves. I'm not here to kill the punching bag. It's not a full on workout. I'm trying to teach for a video. So here, haymaker, shovel hook, haymaker, kick. Kick, high, low, high. One more time, kick, high, low, and high. All right. And for our last round of crunching exercises, <coughs> okay, so for our last round of crunch exercises, we're gonna go ahead and knock out some bicycle crunches. So, I'm back to here. This time, my hands are flicking my ears, okay? Not behind your head, just touch your ears, and now your legs are up, and you're gonna just switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can, you can make it a three round, three minute round with one minute exercise or maybe three to two, whatever, whatever works for you guys. But that's the lesson plan for today. Go ahead, knock it out, have some fun. Let me know what you guys think. If you like the video, Hit the like button, if you like stuff you've seen the channel, go ahead and make sure you subscribe. And last but not least, do me a favor, keep your hands up. All right, this is JD and I'm out. And then finally you have kick, 
cross, straight punch, cross, and kick.